Hi there. Well, this is something that's been requested many, many, many times, and I keep meaning to get around to it, and never seems to be the right time. So, what I thought I'd try and do is make the time. So, I've just finished work. So, if you think I look a bit rough and scruffy, you're exactly right, because I am. But that won't detract from what I'm going to say, hopefully, too much. Okay, so literally, oh, it's on the basis of the latest Megadeth album, which I've been asked my opinion of countless times because everybody knows I'm a big Megadeth fan. So, people keep asking me what I think. I mean, my opinion would obviously count for not a lot, really, in the larger scheme of things. It's just what I have to say on the latest album. But to give you a basis of them, I've been to see them in concert now a couple of times, and I think they've always performed really well. They're a class act as far as I'm concerned. They've always been put up there with four you know, big metal bands. Is that four fingers? That's three, isn't it? Okay, so that's how tired I am. I can't even count to four. Okay, the big four metal bands, Megadeth being one of them. Now, we know the history between them and Metallica, so to ta start talking about that would detract from what Megadeth have done and the album, which I just want to give you my opinion on. Okay, they've had some ups and downs, haven't they, from Megadeth's standpoint. They've had some really big highs, really big lows. Probably one of their lows from Megadeth's standpoint, if, if not Dave's, is Risk. He didn't like the connotations involved in the album. He didn't like the message it sent out. He didn't like anything. In fact, I said it before, I think after he heard the album, he sort of like started crying because he was really that devastated by what he'd achieved. Now, personally, I really liked Risk. And here's the funny thing. Risk is the first album Megadeth I heard. So, I don't know what that says about me or about them, but I heard the album and the tracks off it, uh, particularly Crash, Crush Em and Prince of Darkness, I really liked, and Insomnia. Granted, Risk will never be up there with Rust in Peace or Countdown to Execution. They are superb albums and they probably defined Megadeth's sound, but if you take a sidestep and look at Risk as, say, something else, a different proposition, and you can appreciate the songs put on it, and it's a good album. But... You know, I'm just filtering off here, just giving an, an overview of Megadeth. Now, in the last two albums, okay, so we're going to go to the latest two albums. And if I recall now, before they produced the last, well, the one before the last album, Dave, I think now, is a born-again Christian. So there's a couple of songs now, I'm not quite sure of the songs, but I can guess. He won't sing live because he thinks they're blasphemous. So fine, that's up to him if he's not comfortable with singing with them. I can't knock him for that. And there's a few um, bands he won't tour with because he thinks some of the lyrics of their songs are out of order. So, I, I understand. I don't like it when metal get bands get preachy because, you know, it's not called for. But if you feel strongly enough about it, and at least he backs it up with more than just words, he backs it up with actions, then fine. Respect to him. If you take it for that now that he's a born-again Christian and that's your viewpoint, you can understand the way that the last two albums work. Now, United Abominations is a really good album, but it's very political. Now, it's not gone quite the extent that System of the Down are gone, thankfully, although I admit I do like them, but thankfully it didn't go too far, and I really like some of the songs on that album, and as regards being quite polished and, you know, defining the Megadeth sound, it was all there. Some great solos from them, and I said the band has changed so many times now, I'm not quite sure whether I'm coming or going, but Thankfully, his snarling style vocals and aggressive stance he has with it is still there. And thankfully, some, some things never change, and I'm pleased about that. So, United Abominations, I thought, was a great album. And I wondered after that, where are we going to go with that? Are we going to take a completely different turn? Are we going to have a bit more of the same? Are we going to polish on the new way of performing and the new lyrical style, which he's trying to put across, you know? He's got a message he's trying to get over, and this is the way he's doing it. So, are we going to... You know, progress with that, or we're going to go on a different route. So we get the latest album, which is Endgame. Now, from what I know, this is kind of a, a labour of love for Dave, because he, it, it was meant to be released early, and there were a lot of setbacks, and then they tried to push it forwards again, and then it got pushed back, and then they tried to push it forwards. And, yet again, this album's going along a similar line to United Abominations. There's a, a few tracks that really stand out as a harp on against the UN. So, and war in general, but the UN, you know, being the crowning achievement of crap. So, yeah, I really appreciate where he's going with the album, and I can understand it, but... You see, the thing is, when I listen to Megadeth, I don't want to hear this kind of preaching, OK? If there's other artists I'd listen to. I want to hear a little bit more of the... I won't say fun metal, but the more, you know, aggressive, punching riffs of metal that literally are, are going against machines, um, man, um, anything else in general, but I don't want to hear them too politically motivated. Maybe I'm reading too much into the lyrics of some of the songs, and maybe I'm not. Or maybe that's actually what he's aiming for. 
but I appreciate that. So, I just point out a few of the songs that I thought were really good. Before I talk about the songs, just about the production of the album in general is spot on. It's crystal clear. It simply is a Megadeth album. I couldn't say it's their best album. I mean, Mike, uh, a mate of mine here, on, has said it's never going to be the Black Album for Megadeth. This isn't, so I understand that. Metallica, I think, peaked too soon, and that's it. That will forever haunt them. They're never going to beat the Black Album. Megadeth, on the other hand, I don't ever think peaked, as it were. They've continued a, with a particular style, which is great, and you can really appreciate it, and they never let you down, in my opinion. Some fans may say, yeah, Risk was a bit, yeah, and their original album, you know, Killing Is My Business and Business Is Good is not great. But that's a, a start-off album. Risk was literally a risk. They're trying to go down a different route and probably didn't pay off with the fans or themselves. But they've always had, you know, they've kept the status quo. They've been great. They haven't gone too far one way or the other, other than Risk. <laughs> You know, literally, I possibly would have liked Megadeth to try and stretch themselves a little bit further than they would have. Now, that's my opinion. I think they probably stretched a little bit further in a particular direction, but they haven't, so respect them for that. And they continue to churn out great metal songs, staying true to their roots. So, no complaints. If not split hairs about it, that's my opinion. But the production and the sound of this album is spot on. So, just point out a few of the tracks that I really liked about this album. Okay. The one that stood out to me first of all was 1320. Love that song. It's obviously about driving muscle cars. I love cars. I've had a few cars of equal performance in my time. Um, I don't want to bore you about them, but yeah, they were fast motor cars I've had. And that spoke to me. I love that song. And uh, Hit the Ground Running as a lyric in the song I thought was superb. I know I'm, I'm deviating off track here. I'm not being too critical of albums, I'm not a critic of albums, so I can only point out to you which I like about it, and the lyrics in that song stick out to me, and I love what it's trying to get across, it's not political, it's just about car muscle cars going fast with nitro, I love that song, it's brilliant, the lyrical arrangements in it's great, it's typical Megadeth style um, playing, I love that song, and that just stuck out to me the second I got the album, I whizzed through the album, and you know, you, you quickly like to Listen to an album quickly, and there's songs and riffs that stick out to you as you're going for it, and you think, I'll hear that one next after I've heard the album. That was the first one I picked. Okay, so you know that one I like, it's cars, and I like going fast. And uh, the other one I liked in it as well. May seem a bit off track for me, but the hardest part is letting go. Now, I really like that one. You know, most metal bands, sorry, most metal bands always have, you know, a ballad of some sort in a, an album, don't they? It's just sort of balance it off. I mean, personally, I could quite happily listen to heavy riffs and aggressive vocals all day long. That's great. That's fine by me. But, you know, it's nice to break up the monotony of that. And all bands have to have a ballad, and that was theirs. And if you listen to the lyrics of it, I don't know if it means something more to the day when he wrote it. I'm guessing he wrote it. Let me have a look here doesn't say, I've got my PC in front of me there, and I was looking for the composer of the song, and it, it doesn't say, but if I was a betting man, I'd guess it was him. Might be reading something more into lyrics, but I liked it. I really liked the progression of the song. I mean, it's typical Megadeth, and I really liked it. You know, Metallica have a tendency to do the same sort of thing, but I don't know what it is. When I hear Megadeth do it, maybe just because I'm more of a fan of them, if I feel it's more sincere, the lyrics, might just be me. I mean, obviously, Megadeth fans will possibly agree with me, and Metallica ones will say, you're talking out your ass, mate. Shut up. The Day We Fight. This will be the last one I look at on, or discuss with you anyway, in some brief terms. Um, love the song. I love its typical thrash style rhythm start-up. We don't have any build-up. We don't have, you know, there's usually a little bit of a, an instrumental guitar play to build up to the song, or we have a little bit of instrumental guitar playing that gets heavier and builds and builds to a climax. Well, no, we just go straight in there with a punch, and I like that a lot. Now, that is typically Megadeth for me. That's what I want to hear a lot more of, and it doesn't go too far one way. I mean, 44 minutes is a good song, but as I said, it's the political viewpoint thing that I'm never that keen on. As I said, I appreciate it and respect it, but it's not something that I particularly like. I keep moving my head around like this. Does it make more sense? No, not really. Look like a bit of a moron, don't I? Sorry, that's me. You know, like, I feel quite 
passionate about particular things, my head moves around like this. A bit like a nodding dog. You got a nodding dog in the back? I'm off track, sorry, sorry. But yeah, so, um, you know the songs I like off the album and the ones I'd recommend listening to first, and it's a good, good, solid album. I would have hoped, yet again, I'm just splitting hairs here, they would have done something a little bit more experimental, but having said that, if they don't want to do anything experimental, at least they're not, you know, bollocking it up. They're keeping something that fans are going to love, I love, and I dare say if you're going to pick up a Megadeth album, this is a great one to start with. You will not be disappointed. Hey, if you were to pick up this album without ever hearing a Megadeth album before, this album would pretty much sum up what Megadeth are known for. You could respect them for it and you think, well, that sound is the sound I like. I'll check out a bit of their back catalogue and I'll guarantee you won't be disappointed.